Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about some really cool things that iPhones can do running iOS 16 that you probably didn't know about. iOS 16 is amazing, it has a lot of amazing features and of course even more are coming with the release of iOS 16.1. But even with iOS 16.0 or 16.0.2, whichever one you have, this update is amazing and it can do a lot more than you think. Before we talk about the first thing that your iPhone can do on iOS 16 that you probably didn't know about, I will show you guys another thing you didn't know about. Now you guys are watching my videos, but most of you are currently not subscribed to the channel. So I would really appreciate if you could take the time to subscribe to the channel, of course, if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more iOS 16 videos. And now let's get into the first thing, open up the settings app, head on to your Apple ID and go into iCloud. Right here, of course, you will have your iCloud backup. With iOS 16, now you can manage your backups on your device. So you can see here I have the backups that I have. I only have this one for my iPhone here. Tab there and you can see everything you need to know regarding this backup. You can see what you have backed up from which apps. Of course, if you want to remove something, you tap right there and you can actually turn off that app so it doesn't back up on your iCloud. And then of course you will have here delete and turn off backup. If you just want to delete this backup right here, you can see the next size, how the backup, how big it will be. So of course, when you have a backup, the next one will be bigger as it will just back up more data. You will see right here how big it will be. So currently it's 1.4. It will be three point, actually 336 more on the next backup. So it's actually a pretty cool feature. You will get every detail you need to know regarding your iCloud backups. Here's another great new feature that you can find under your Apple ID. So head on to password and security and scroll all the way down. You will see here automatic verification. This is an amazing feature that Apple has added to iOS 16. Now what your iPhone can do with this feature is that it will bypass captures in apps and web automatically. This is amazing. You know those captures, those like pictures that you have to actually just guess or the words that you have like different letters and numbers that you have to enter in order to verify most of the time that you're human. Now that will be bypassed automatically by iOS 16 simply by enabling it here. iOS 16 also lets your iPhone do something really cool hybrid dictation, which means that you can dictate and type at the same time. This is really amazing. Let me show you guys an example of how it works. Now here we have the dictation button. This is dictation. Just like that, as you can see, I can dictate, then type something, then dictate again and it won't stop, it will actually be very, very accurate. Now, this is a really big new feature of iOS 16, the ability to see the list of all the networks you have connected to and also see their passcode. I can do this for this list or you can even do it for the current network you're connected to. So all you have to do is go to your settings, go to the Wi-Fi section and tap the edit button that you will find right there at the top right corner. And then you will see a list of all the networks here. So maybe there's a network you have connected before you wanna know their passcode, maybe to share it with someone. All you have to do is just tap that little I button and it shows it here. You can just tap on the passcode and it will actually reveal the passcode and even give you the option to copy it to your clipboard. Of course, one of the cool new features of the iPhone 14 Pro, the dynamic island. It's actually really cool and it looks amazing, but you can also close it. Now here's how you close it. You can see if I have something playing, of course, it will show right there on the dynamic island. But if I don't want to see that, all I have to do is just swipe like that from the right to the left. It will actually remove that item whatever that is from the dynamic island. I can go ahead and try that again. So here we have like a timer and you can see it's right there on the dynamic island. If I just don't want to have it there, I can just swipe like that and we're good to go. Now here is something really cool that you can do on your iOS 16 device that you probably didn't know about. 
Now this is having these like dynamic wallpapers on the lock screen. Now these are actually really, really cool. Now the way it works is of course it works with the ability to set shuffle photos on the lock screen. You probably know about that new feature on iOS 16. And of course you have to combine that with these wallpapers. Now to get these wallpapers, you will need an app, which I will show you guys in a second, but just take a look right here how cool this is. You can see once you tap, they will start moving. So you will have to actually keep tapping there. You can stop at any wallpaper and you will have this like dynamic wallpaper, which looks really, really cool. Now let me show you guys how to achieve this. Now for this to work, you will actually need to download this app, which you can download for free from the app store. And once you have downloaded the app, open it and go right here where it says shuffle. You will find all these wallpapers and they're actually really, really cool. So there are a lot of them, of course, with all kinds of different animations. Just choose one that you might like. You can see here a lot of them. Let's try out one here. So let's just try this one. So what you need to do here is simply tap on save shuffle and this will save the entire wallpaper. So you can see right here, there are a bunch of wallpapers you will need to get. So all you have to do is just tap right there. We already saved this. So it will download all of them at once on your photo library. Next, you need to head on to your setting, to your lock screen actually. On the lock screen, just go to create a new lock screen and choose photo shuffle. Once it takes you to your photo library, just choose the photos that you just downloaded. Start from here and go all the way here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tap the add button. And now we're good to go right here. What we can do now is tap the three dots right there and just choose on tap. Once you have done that, tap on done. It will save this. And now we're good to go. So you can see on tap, this will change the wallpaper and of course have a dynamic look, which is really, really cool. On iOS 15, if something uses the microphone or the camera or the location in your device, you will see it on your control center. Well, if you're on Safari and let's say a website will use your microphone or maybe your camera, you now you with iOS 16, you will exactly know which website. So if I'm here on YouTube and try to do like a search, I just use the mic there. You will notice now that if I go out of here and go to the control center, Right here on the control center, it will say Safari, but if I tap there, it will show me exactly the website which was using my microphone in this case. Here's another really useful feature for the notification center. When you go to your notifications on iOS 16, you don't have to do this to clear a notification. All you have to do is just swipe like that and you can just dismiss all those notifications. Now, of course, the files app is like a quiet app on iOS, but with iOS 16, it actually got a bunch of new features which are really useful. And one of them, this right here, text box. So when you open a PDF, what you can do is tap there and it will give you options. If you tap the plus button, we can now actually add text text from a box or we can add a signature or we can just start typing from here so you can see add text box so you can add of course that text box and move it anywhere you can resize it here or you can even of course add your signature so all the signatures that you have saved you can use them and of course always you can resize them and move them around add them anywhere you want and with PDFs on iOS 16 and any other things that you can actually print, you can now type the number of copies you want. So when you go to the share sheet and you tap print on any document that you can print from iOS, you can now just tap there and it allows you to set the number of copies that you want for that document. So that is it for this video guys. These are 10 things that you can do on your iPhone running iOS 16 that you might not know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, don't forget to leave a like on this one as it helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next video.